All right, welcome guys. So let's prove uh, solve this uh, one for a one least number of unique integer after k removals. Uh, yes, yeah, so basically, uh, the problem is basically say that I I, I just want to remove k elements, and uh, I want to prove I want to find that uh, hopefully, uh, I find the least number of unique integers. So basically, I want let's say if k equals to one, I need I can only I remove four, right? Because if I remove four, the remaining will be one. There's only one distinct number. So I want this guy to be small, right? So that's why I remove four, I don't remove five, okay? And for the k equals three, you can remove uh, four, two, three, right? So you remove one, four, one, two, and then maybe one. And so remaining, remaining will be three and uh, one. So these are two distinct. Oh, so this problem is very simple that you immediately notice that uh, what is the sequence I should remove, right? So I should remove, I should remove uh, based on what? Based on how many of them, right? uh, the, 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 the smallest one, right? So I, so let's, so I should count, I should first count, I should first count the array. So for example, in the first case that I can create an array, which uh, let's say four map to one, five map to two. And when I try to remove, I first remove, I first remove four because uh, four is one, right? I remove it and uh, I only need to remove it, right? So remaining, the remaining non-zero parts is five, right? So there's a remaining one. Okay, so, okay. So this is the, the first example. Uh, let's see, let's say for the second examples, Okay, so for second examples, let's say I can create a dictionary counts how many of them. So four map to one, right? And the uh, uh, one map to two, three map to two, and the two map to one, okay? And I will want to remove what? I re remove three of them. So I remove this, remove this, I remove this. Okay, so there are how many remaining on zero? Two of them, right? So two of them are remaining. Okay, so this is uh, the, so let's see uh, what's the algorithm, right? So algorithm should, should do like this. Should do like this uh, very trivial step, right? First, I just count the array. So the first step is just count the array. Right, and I, I and the second step is I, I sorted the array. Okay, I sorted. Because I want to start from the smallest one, the smallest, uh, the least, the least frequency and I start to delete. Okay, and I start to delete, uh, delete. Okay, so let's say, let's say this is the, let's say after this, let's say we got A1, A2, A3, such that A1, let's say we go to A2, let's say we go to A3, and, I, and then the goal is to, uh, the goal is to delete K of them, right? At least K of them. So I can create an answer, let's say answer zero, and the answer at, at A1, at, and the, the second is A1, A2, A1, A2, A3, and I check, once I add some of them, then the, it will exceed k. Okay, so once it exceeds k, there are two situations. The first situation is a one. This answer exactly ends the same as k. So that means let's say up to here, it, you exactly cancel all of this, and the remaining will be n minus k. Let's say this n is a length of the array, uh, the dictionary as a keys. Okay. If the answer is greater than k, that means after that, you will cancel something, but this guy will remain, in, right? So then the, your answer should add one. That's it. Okay, so you create a dictionary and then you sort and then you count it, right? So it's counted and then initialize the answer and then find the length and then do the sort it. And then for n reach n, then just check the answer. If the answer greater equal to k and you add, uh, you need to minus additional one. If the answer is greater than k, you just add one, so it become a minus i. Yeah, that's it. So very simple and uh, very, very fast. Okay, <laughs> very simple question. See you guys in the next videos.